एंड वेलकम वंस अगेन नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द फैब्रिकेशन ऑफ मॉस्फेट्स इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी विल सी दैट व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स दैट आर यूज टू ट्रांसफर अ सिंगल पैटर्न ऑन टू द सिलिकॉन डाइऑक्साइड सरफेस एंड वी शुड नो सम इंपॉर्टेंट कीवर्ड्स लाइक मास्किंग लिथोग्राफी फोटो रेजिस्ट इचिंग एंड ऑक्साइड विंडो क्रिएशन दिस वीडियो विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूट सेमेस्टर एग्जाम्स एंड प्रैक्टिकल वाइवास along with uh, placement interviews and vlsi training so please watch this video completely so in this video we are going to see that how this uh, window is created onto this silicon dioxide layer and let's start with the masking masking is used to cover some areas on chip like we mask our face uh, uh, to protect it from the sun sun rays and uh, masking is done on each processing step after the masking lithography lithography is a process used to transfer a pattern to a layer on the chip and that is why each layer has its own distinct patterning requirements as we have seen the masking this lithographic sequence must be repeated for every layer using a different mask now here we have a bonus point that what is e beam lithography electron beam lithography is a technique which is used in sub micron devices for high accuracy so that we can uh, fabricate uh, millions of devices on a small chip after the lithography let's see what is photo resist photo resist it is a light sensitive acid resistant organic polymer now there are two types of photo resist positive and negative photo resist many times the difference between them are asked so i have written some differences the first one is positive pr is initially insoluble and it becomes soluble after exposure to uv light just opposite in a negative pr is initially soluble and after exposure it becomes insoluble positive pr is less sensitive to light while negative pr is more sensitive since positive pr is less sensitive so its uh, resolution is very high and negative pr has poor resolution and positive pr is giving good resolution accuracy that's why it is commonly used while negative pr is rarely used after the photo resist now let's come to the point that what are the steps to transfer a single pattern the first step is thermal oxidation of the silicon surface so this is our silicon substrate it is thermally oxidized and now here it is silicon dioxide layer the thickness of this oxide layer may vary from 1 micron meter to 0.01 to 5 micron meter the second step is the use of photo resist layer entire oxide surface look at here in the diagram so entire for oxide surface is then covered with a layer of positive pr positive pr which is initially insoluble and the third step is the exposure to the uv light here you can see that a mask is used glass mask and some areas are opaque and this area is transparent so we will selectively expose this positive pr to uv light and by using a mask we have covered some areas and, and when it is exposed areas covered by the opaque features on the mask are shielded to uv light that remains insoluble and those who are exposed to uv light becomes soluble and in the next step this soluble photo resist will be removed so unexposed portions of positive pr removed by a solvent the silicon dioxide regions which are not covered by hardened pr etched away either by using a chemical solvent hf acid or by using a dry etch process you can see so this silicon dioxide layer is now etched away by using chemical etching or dry etching so we have created a window at the end of this step an oxide window that reaches down to the silicon surface is created and in the last step the remaining photo resist is also stripped off so we have created a window look at here so we have transferred a pattern onto the silicon dioxide layer in this way we have created an oxide window on this silicon substrate the next video is about the nmos fabrication please watch that video also i hope you understand this topic and if you liked it then please share it with your friends
थैंक यू सो मच एंड हैव ए नाइस डे